What's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that A cross B union C is equal to A cross B union A cross C. So before we do the proof, let's briefly recall what the X means. So the X means Cartesian product. So if you have two sets, A and B, the Cartesian product of A and B is defined as A cross B. This is equal to the set of all ordered pairs X comma Y, such that the first component comes from your A, so X is an A, and the second component um, comes from your B, so Y is in B. So it's a set of all ordered pairs where the first component, your X coordinate, if you want to think of the coordinate system, uh, comes from A, and the Y coordinate, or your second component, comes from B. All right, let's go ahead and do this proof. So, proof, proof. so we'll start by writing down the left-hand side. So A cross B union C. This is A cross parentheses B union C. Piece of cake. Progress, progress. <laughs> all right, so this is all the ordered pairs. So it's the set of all of the X comma Ys, right? All of the X comma Ys, such that... So X is an A and Y is in B union C. So X is an A and Y is in B union C. This is equal to, so now we can break it up, right? We can write down what it means for Y to be in B union C. So this is the set of all ordered pairs, X comma Y, such that X is an A, such that X is an A and, and, well, y is in the union, it means y is in b or y is in c. So y is in b or y is in c. That's what it means for y to be in the union of these sets, right? All right, now here is the, here is the key step. So this is all of the ordered pairs, x comma y. So now we need to think about how can we write this in a way that involves a cross b and a cross c, because we've already exhausted what we have, right? Um, it's kind of like a one-way proof. What I mean by one-way proof is you write down what you have, you write down the definition, right? And then right here, there's nothing else you can do except use the definition of union, right? So this means that y is in B or y is in C. And so now you're kind of, you're kind of stuck. So you have to think about where you're going. We're trying to get to A cross B into A cross C. Well, let's see. X is in A and Y is in B. That means XY is in A cross B. So XY is in A cross B. Or, or X is in A and Y is in C. So that means that um, XY is in A cross C. Remember, these are sets of ordered pairs, right? So A cross B is a set of ordered pairs. So here the statement says that X is in A and Y is in B or Y is in C. So if you have X and A, you can have X and A and Y and B. That means that happens. Or you can have X and A and Y and C. That means that happens. And so what does this mean? This means that x, y is in a cross b, or x, y is in a cross c. That means that this is the set, by definition, a cross b, or, so union, and then a cross c. Which is precisely what we had to show in the proof. So that completes the proof. Thanks for watching. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care.